Good day, campers. Today I want to talk a little bit about thermistors. RV refrigerators use a thermistor to control the cooling of the refrigerator and freezer. The thermistor is clipped to the cooling fins inside the refrigerator. As the fins warm up, so does the thermistor. As the thermistor warms up, its resistance value changes. Once the resistance reaches a predetermined value, the cooling unit starts cooling, which cools the fins inside the fridge and the plate inside the freezer. The cooling of the fins in the fridge cools the thermistor. Once the thermistor reaches the predetermined value, the cooling unit stops cooling. Then the fins start to warm up and the process repeats. This system works okay, but cooling is not determined by the temperature in the fridge or the freezer, but by the temperature of the cooling fins. This is why RV fridge temps tend to fluctuate so much. Residential refrigerators use a thermostat, which is really the same as a thermistor, inside the fridge to measure air temperature. That information is then used to turn the compressor, a.k.a. cooling unit, on and off, thus controlling air temperature inside the fridge. So, why did I tell you all of that? I tell you that because there is a company that makes a replacement thermistor that is adjustable and measures air temperature the same way a residential fridge does. It's called Snip the Tip and it's made and sold by Artica Incorporated. They sell them for both Norcold and Dometic RV refrigerators. The one for my Norcold costs $32.50. Simply go to snipthetip.com to order. I will put a link in the description of this video. A quick note. If you have a Norcold or Dometic RV refrigerator that has been converted to a 12-volt compressor fridge, the thermostat should work in your unit. If your converted unit uses the original control board and it is still using the factory thermistor, you can replace it with the snip the tip thermistor. I have such a fridge and JC Refrigeration was the ones that recommended this upgrade to me. Be sure to check out my video on this type of upgrade. The purpose of this video is to show you the correct way to upgrade your fin style thermistor to air an air style thermistor using the installation instructions provided by the manufacturer. A quick disclaimer here. Artica states that this mod should only be performed by a qualified service technician so it's up to you to decide after watching this video if you are comfortable doing this or choose to have it done by a profession. Now let's get started. Step one is to remove your existing fin tight thermistor. It unplugs right here and unclips from the fin. As luck would have it, I have an extra thermistor that I removed, thinking that it was bad, I will use it for this um, update. One little note, if your thermistor is hardwired and not plugged in, then you'll want to shut off your refrigerator. You'll cut these wires one at a time. After you've done the update and plug it back in, then you can turn your refrigerator back on. Step two. Cut off the old thermistor, leaving only the two wires and the factory connector. You can discard the old thermistor because you no longer need it. Step three is to remove about a half inch of insulation from both wires. You only want to strip off about a half inch because you don't want any wire uh, sticking through the wire nut once you've removed it. Mm -hmm. 
roughly a half inch. Twist the strands together on both wires. Step five is to remove the tops from both wire nuts on the new thermistor. Step six is we're gonna insert the wires that we just stripped inside the wire nut does not matter which wire goes into which wire nut. Twist the wires together. Reinstall the wire nut. And you want to tug on these wires to make sure they're nice and secure. And then we want to repeat for the other wire nut and set of wires. You want to ensure that once this is put together that you have no wires showing on the back of the wire nut if that wire was to touch against your fins, it could actually damage your control board. The next step is that we want to set this arrow to this setting here, 33 to 39 degrees. That's our starting point. And then we will adjust as we see how the refrigerator behaves. This adjustment is very sensitive, so you want to make small changes. The next step is we want to clean and dry the area on the wall where we're going to put the new thermistor. And you peel the backing off of the thermistor. Place the thermistor on the wall here in the general vicinity of the fins. The manufacturer says this is the best location for it. You want to press around the edges to make sure that it's stuck. And we're going to connect our new thermistor. And I want to put this up here in the clip. and close the refrigerator door. I would recommend a wireless thermometer to monitor your temps instead of consistently opening the doors to check on your temperature. Wireless digital thermometers are available from Amazon. I will link to the one that I use in the uh, description. You can fine tune the adjustable thermistor along with the settings on your refrigerator to get the temperatures that you want. 
As always, thanks for watching, and please remember to like and subscribe.